Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Rose Mobo Gold once more. Well, 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 it's a beautiful, beautiful day today. We are going to be learning about femininity equals fertility. And uh, today's topic is a very, very difficult uh, topic. I'm going to attempt to do it and I hope I'll try and explain very better, uh, very much better. Uh, guys, a disclaimer is that I'm not the best farmer out there. I don't know a lot of things. I am learning. So please come and learn with me. Wherever I go wrong, please advise me what I've gone wrong on. Don't be too harsh because I am learning. We have only two years running this thing. And so far, uh, a lot of people say we are doing very well, but I don't think we are doing very well. I think we are learning. We want to produce that animals, so when you want to produce that animals, sometimes you have to just be harsh with yourselves and with what you produce. So today we are going to be talking about a very, very, very difficult uh, topic which says femininity equals uh, fertility. Why, why do we say femininity is fertility and what do we mean by saying that? We are saying the most feminine goat, it is the most fertile goat. You know, in most cases, a lot of our people, our Tswana speaking people, uh, when they come to the farms, they always want to choose a, a goat that is heavy, that is big, that is long, that is nice and robust and then they don't care about other things that are supposed to make up a goat. So that's why today I want to do a video about fertility and femininity. Okay, so we are going to start with our big, 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 big goat there. Uh, I don't know Tamba if you can raise it up a bit, yeah. So this goat you can see it, it's a full mature goat. It, uh, it has full teeth on its mouth, okay? Now, we purchased this goat uh, a few years ago from a breeder in, uh, in the Kalahari area. Uh, the reason why we bought this, this goat, it was for the same reason that I'm going to be mentioning, that, you know, a lot of people that are, that are coming to our farms, they always want to choose big animals. So this animal, as you can see, it has a long top line, okay? But I've taught you about one thing, guys. When you look at goats, look at the head. Uh, look at the strong, the strong head of Big Mama, okay? It has a nice length. It has a nice rump. Look at the meat from here to here. It's quite long. Look at the depth of this animal. Even though the, the legs looks like a chopstick, it's quite smaller than for this body. And then look at the brisket of it. But one thing I want to mention about this goat, it is the strong head okay this strong head says always choose beautiful females always choose beautiful females okay this one is quite strong it looks like a buck okay looks like a buck and when you choose females you are not supposed to choose females so we have scanned this animal like i've said it does not give birth we have taken it to the vet we have scanned it we have tried everything it has eaten all our monies so what is waiting for her is only the nice chew at the kitchen so and the braai. This one, we are not going to be selling it to anybody. We are not going to try and cheat anybody. We are saying we wanted to use it for this video and finally we have shot this video with it. We are saying from now onwards, as breeders or as young farmers or someone who wants to go into farming, choose animals that are functional, okay? One very important thing that I want to say is the bigger is not the better, okay? Most people say the bigger the better. No, in animals, sometimes it's much better to choose a smaller feminine animal that is quite fertile than a big animal that is heavier and bigger, okay? Bigger doesn't mean fertility, doesn't mean better. So sometimes choose a smaller animal 
uh, it will do wonders for you. By, besides, a smaller animal uh, has a, a, a high uh, level of giving more kids consecutively than before it dies. So I will say, uh, this is a nice female if you don't know goats. This is a beautiful female if you don't know goats. A lot of people always come to my farm and offer me money to buy the blue tech from us. And we say, no, this one is not fertile. They say, no, I'll go and try it. I say, no, I'm not going to be giving you animals that are not fertile. So she's not fertile. It's only uh, that we are keeping her to make it fat and then we are going to be having it for braai. Uh, with me here we have number 73 of Rose Mobokot, one of the females that I really, really love with all my heart. Now look for fertility. Fertility equals femininity. Why do I say that? Look at the head of this goat. Huh? Look at the concave of, of this goat. It has the most beautiful concave ever. Okay? And then look at the, 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 the horns of this goat. So even though the horns are not the most perfect horns, but it's one of the most beautiful animals. It doesn't have the big, big brisket like the big mama. That goat, we call it the big mama. And then now we come to the longevity. That's the top line of a goat. It doesn't have any dip here. See, it doesn't have a dip. It has a long uh, length as well as the rump. Look at the rump. Look at the depth. It's empty animal. It's an empty animal. We are going to be breeding it. It's waiting for other animals so that we can breed with it. But what I want to say is fe femininity is fertility. Look how beautiful it, she is. Look at the head of, of, of this goat. Look how she's standing, how she's holding herself. She looks like a real girl. Okay? Now, when a, a goat looks like a real, real woman, like a real girl, like she's standing very beautifully, if Temba leaves her, the neck is going to extrude and, and walk upright like this. Now you know that at least you have chosen a better animal. So always go for fit, for minity. Don't go for big animals because they are big muscles, they are longer, they are depth. So you compare this, uh, this goat with the big mama you will see that the big mama is quite longer than her. The big mama, is, it has a better depth than her. But it doesn't mean that big mama is fertile. We have scanned big mama and big mama doesn't give kids. And imagine we have bought it for 7,000 two years ago. It has never given birth. We have taken it to the vets. It has never given birth because it has a strong face. So fe feminine, in most cases, uh, uh, females that have strong uh, faces that look like bugs, it is hard for them sometimes to be fertile. As they age, they can give birth at first time, second time, third time, but as they age, they might stop giving birth at all. But some of them also, they don't give birth at all. They don't give it back at all. So someone who has sold me that goat, I'll never go back and buy from him again because he has cheated me. So you don't get to cheat people. That big mama, it's for me and Temba to buy it uh, whenever we choose for it to die. But fertility equals femininity, okay? Now you open also the mouth of this, this goat. It shows the teeth that is still a young girl. It has never given birth and it doesn't have the big brisket. Look at how she's standing. And then the rump also is beautiful. The back is beautiful. Everything about this goat is just marvelous. So every time as a breeder or as a farmer, and you want to choose your animals, your breeding stock, your breeding females, go for beautiful animals. Beautiful animals means uh, femininity and fertility. All right. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you have enjoyed today's episode. I have tried to do justice. It's a difficult, difficult topic to do, but I've always wanted to do it. And I wanted to do it on once uh, without researching it. And I think I've done justice to this topic. And if I've gone wrong, if I've done something wrong, if I've said something wrong, please correct me. I'm one person who's willing to learn from anybody and everybody in this world. So thank you for tuning in to our channel. Make sure that you subscribe, you like and comment below as well as ring the notification bell so YouTube algorithm will let you know once we have uploaded a few videos. We're going to be uploading a lot of many, many videos in the coming weeks and in the coming months. And I want you to guys to be 
part of this channel so that we can grow bigger and better together. I am an African farmer located in Khabani, 15 kilometers away from the city. Thank you guys for having us. We love you, one family. Love you. Until next time. See you. Bye-bye.